All right, we got UK versus San Diego State, um, both on a one-game losing streak. Points per game are pretty low for San Diego State. They do have one user, though, and Kentucky has three users, so it should be three, four total, I think. What's up, AJ? We're jumping into the game right now. Um, we'll see what happens. I think Kentucky should be take the lead because they have more users, but we'll see. Close game. High-scoring game, too. I'm surprised. Real high scoring game. Wow. Both teams could hit 100, possibly. All right, see what we got. Sheffield is on San Diego State. Nine, three, four assists, two steals, one for four behind the arc. Not too bad. Guy got wicked, 17, two, and five. Having a great game. One steal, one block as well. Uh, battle, two for five behind the arc. Seven assists, eight rebounds, 14 points. And then Joyce, the last user, 14 points, six rebounds, four assists. Six for nine shooting. Not bad at all. Kentucky is playing better. See if they can pull it off. And the Wildcats time call out. time here. And Coach is looking to seize every advantage and maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Kevin, during the last time out, I heard the Wildcats coach talking with his team. He said to them, keep building this lead, guys. Don't take your foot off the gas. Keep working hard. Run our stuff. Guys? Thank you, David. So on the floor for the Wildcats. Just two to shoot. That one drops for him. And the Wildcats lead by nine. Great timing. That could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Davis looking for an opening. Fires the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Defensively, a breakdown along the perimeter. Just too slow to rotate. Battle is guarded by Davis. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Not in rhythm. He had the two triples in the first half. None so far in the second. Here's Dio. Pulls up. And it's Davis missing. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Pass to bat. And here's Burks. He's guarded by Davis. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Three to stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. They set the pick. Another three for San Diego. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Burks in the corner. Fires for three. It's hauled in by San Diego. And I thought that was going to drive. It looks good from here. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Now just a four-point Wildcat lead. The Wildcats have gone two of four from the field time out, time since we started the final quarter of play. The Wildcats all time here. 
teams changing it up here. Give the hand fans your Breakers dance crew. You got it. Go, go. Right here, right here. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Hart with it. Back to Mitchell. Just five on the clock. No good that time. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Wildcats. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And they've also shown great effort defensively tonight. That they closed out on shooters and really got their hands up on multiple shots. Here's Mitchell. San Diego getting their last shot to go in. From downtown, gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Wildcats lead by seven. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. Again, San Diego. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Going up, he's had a job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. At the line for the Wildcats, Mitchell. Two shots. throw drops for Mitchell. And yeah, Mitchell drops them both. San Diego trails by seven. Puts one up from 19. That shot misses. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Back to Edwards. To the inside. And it's Mitchell with the jam. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. shot and that's two points on the layup and now it's an 11 point wildcat lead man just adding insult to injury he just waltzes inside and extends this lead a uncontested shot at the rim you have to compete at all times yeah, the chemistry has been terrific really impressed with their offensive execution and the pass to bat High post, buries the jump shot. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours, even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons and guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. I don't know what coach told him at halftime. But he is shooting the lights out right now. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And that is first class right there. <laughs> can you believe that, Don? I'm not sure, Greg, I can. And here is San Diego now. The Wildcats getting their last shot to go. Top of the key jumper, no good. 
Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense. And it's denied. And it's out of bounds for the Wildcats. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. <laughs> Number 15, zero. The inbound. That's a basket. Is eighth from the field. Eight of fourteen. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Dio accurate with a jumper from the elbow. Ever since halftime, he's had his eyes on the basket and just crushing it right now. Inside. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Playing at his tempo, his pace. He's been dialed in all night. San Diego moving the ball around. Clock at four. Launches from deep. The long distance three is built. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. Pass to Edwards. Down low. Scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. Man, that's just cold blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Expanding upon this league, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. And San Diego calls time here. Edwards defending. Shot clock at five. To the middle. No good on that one. Thing burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And the Wildcats lead by 14. There's the pick. Edwards defending. To the paint. Here's Dio. Oh, that. 
is blocked. And with some of the new rooting interest of the fans, some concern about potential hostility for the players when great things don't go their way. I mean, there's a lot riding on the outcome of games and, and stat lines. That's something the league has to take seriously, making sure the players are protected because the emotions can run rampant. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Wildcats. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of beauty. They're yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And now, for the year, this is going to take him to seven wins. Edwards defending. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. No question he got bombed on that shot. At the line for two, Sheffield. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And San Diego making a change here. Davis is checked in. Good on both. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Reeves. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And the Wildcats lead by 19. And it's just competing, you know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. So we see the Wildcats get the win here. That's the to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess if they don't need home cooking. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Yeah, Kentucky went off, man. Good game by them for sure. Let me see the stats. Sheffield with the team, though. I like seeing that for a user. 17, 4, and 5 assists, 2 steals. Two steals, shooting threes wasn't that good, but overall not that bad. He needs some extra help, though, for sure. Guy got one off again. 22 points, six assists. Good for the guard. Dallas, 16 and 10, double-double, almost a triple-double. Two, uh, two boards shy. And shot two for six behind the arc. And then Joyce, 16 points, eight boards, five assists, one block, a little bit of everything. Good shooting, too, seven for 11. They went up. They came up balling day, man. Kentucky did good. Assist. Kentucky, a lot of assists, man. Almost 40 assists. That's a lot for a game. Bench points. Kentucky did better there, too. Second champ points. Points in the paint. Led there. 61% shooting overall is huge. That's a really high percentage for shooting for, for Kentucky. 48 to 50 is not bad shooting at all for San Diego State. They did pretty good, too. This Kentucky came out, man. A lot stronger. Let's see who we got next. We have... Houston and Baylor is a fast sim. We have nobody from Houston. Let me just double check. I know we used to. I don't think we do now, though. Let me just check real quick. I think we have a locker for them, but the guy left. Let me just double make sure. Yeah, Houston. It was Hayward, but he went to, um, I think it was Arkansas he went to. So Houston's open. This will be a fast sim game here. We have no one playing here. Cougars came out strong. Another a couple double doubles, but that's it. Okay, now Kansas and UConn. We have six players, I believe. Let me see. Isaiah Jones, Chase Brown, Uriah Brown, Allen Everson Jr., Darnell Hodge, and Jordan Rump. Yeah, we got six guys playing. Let me tag them real quick. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to tag all these guys.
All right. Let's jump into it. Both coming off a win. UConn's got four in a row, though. Kansas won one. Um, Kansas away, six and three. And UConn home is not that good, two and four. So that might be in Kansas' favor. Uh, UConn does score more points. Kansas has brought it up, but they're like at 76% until they have those three users joined. So they're getting better points overall game. Let's see how it goes. Close game. Kansas up by nine. Iverson Jr., he's playing better lately. Definitely has. 12 and 8, four assists, three steals, a little bit of everything, man. Not too bad for him. Two for three behind the arc, too. Jordan, 12, 5, and 4. One steal, one block. And then Hodge down low. Eight, three rebounds, one block. 0 for three three-pointers, though. Then we got Chase Brown, 13, 4, and 5. Two turnovers, but two for four behind the arc. Uriah Brown, 12 points, 5 boards, 4 assists. And then Jones, 4 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 block, 3 turnovers. Not that good. Only took 5 shots. He needs to shoot more. But they're winning. Let's see what happens. See you guys in about 10 minutes. I'll check a tendency late later. told the team earlier. He said, keep it going, guys. Ride this wave of momentum. We're playing great right now, but we can't let up. Guys, back to you. Appreciate the report, Allie. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Here's Jones. Pass to Brown. Here's Jones. Five to shoot. Brown with it. Out to the right wing. From outside the arc. Hits a three-pointer. He's not their first option too often, but he can hit the three when he's on. Shooting around 50% of the game so far. Outside Robinson. Foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, that was clearly a foul. Robinson, two shots. Shoot two. Throw good, Robinson. So it's both teams making substitutions here. That one misses. Shooting a nice 50% for the game. Pass to Hart. It's Brown on the wing. No good on the shot. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Pulls it. Hauled in by Brown. Brown's got six rebounds now in the game. We've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Hart with it. Six on the shot clock. The 
three is up. The shot off that time. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Outside Robinson. There's a screen. From down to the low post, it goes. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Hart. Pass to Brown. That shot off the mark. Gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Robinson gets the bucket. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. And here's Hart. To win the drought. Shots blocked. The floater and the layup is good. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Deflected. Pass to Robinson. Hodge. This is the jumper, shooting the ball at 46% from the floor. That's tipped. Boy, this lead is razor thin. Yeah, B.A., and there's a chance to extend that right here. The deep three. It's not going to go for him. Maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I don't think his coaches will agree. Yeah, and you're not going to just have the green light for long if you're chucking up bombs like that. The jump hook. Count it. Good. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Here's Jones. Outside, Brown. Here's McDaniel. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Also relying on his skill there. That's a nice move against Link. Gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Defended by Brown. Out to the right wing. Just four to shoot. Buries it from three. Trading his first three of the game. No doubt. Hoping to build up a little momentum from outside. Outside Jones. To the inside. And he takes the feet in stride and slams it home. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Defended by Jones. Puts it up from the high post. To tie it up. He can't get it to go. 
This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Puts it up from 15. That one rolls around and rims out. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Pass to Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Knocks down the triple. This is his second three this half. He's getting even more bold at that arc. Outside Jones. Let's it go from 11. That shot missing. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Defended by Jones. And it's all tied up. And finally, after trailing for so long, they've leveled the score late here in the fourth. And even when time was starting to run short, there was no panic. They kept their focus and went about their business. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. They set the screen to take the lead. And he can't get that one. Shooting only 36% since the fourth quarter started. Inside. Oh, what a play! It snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Defended by Brown. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. That is not a guy you want to allow him to look straight. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Outside Jones. The drive. Passes to Jones. From the arc. On target from range. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? Jones has gone one for three from deep tonight. Outside Robinson. McDaniel pulls it in. McDaniel's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Jones. Here's McDaniel. To the middle. And it's flushed down. A nice chance. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. Anything other than a make is game over. This is where you lean on your stars to get you to the finish line. Fifty-two seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Outside Robinson. They need this. Called in by Brown. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's McDaniel. Back to Jones. Jones sets a screen. Just five to shoot. Pass to Brown. The three. He drops it from range. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Take that, he says. I see your three, and I'll raise you another three. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win. Yeah, I don't get that.
we've had teams down by 17 points a minute left and they're fouling. We've had teams down by three that they don't foul. So I don't know why they do it. It's just 2K. AI Junior, another great game. 19 8, 5, 3 steals. Let's see what he's, the last couple of games have been playing good. Let me see real quick. Yeah, 22 6, 12 4, 4 5, 11 assists, 17 6. He played a lot better. At the beginning there, he was not good at all. Look at that. 6, 4, 7, 4, 2. Yeah, he's improved a lot. He's getting better over the year. Jordan, 15 7, 5, 1 steal, 1 block. And then Hodge, 10 and almost a double double, 10 and 9 for points and boards, and 3 blocks. I don't know why he's shooting threes. We'll, I'll check that right now when I'm done here. I'll check that right while you're, if you have it turned up or not. Chase, 18 points, four boards, six assists. Brown, 12 points, eight rebounds, four assists. 0 for three shooting, though. Isaiah Jones, seven, four, nine. Nine dimes is good, but three turnovers. But hey, they got the W still. They got the win. Let's see here. Uh, assist, bad second chance. Points of pain about the same. Shooting was about the same, too. So, yeah, just can't stop playing him. Rock, Chuck, Jayhawk. Yeah, right. A couple of good games. Go pro. All right, this week is done, or this day is done. Let me save it now real quick. <clears throat> so, today we have... We go to Kentucky Yukon. That'll be a good matchup there. So Kentucky Yukon is right there. So we have three more games. Illinois versus Houston. They got Buckholt and Bird on Illinois and nobody on Houston, so <clears throat> Houston's not a tear, though. Won three in a row. Illinois dropped their game with the... Yeah, they played yesterday. They lost yesterday. They're scoring almost 97 points a game, though. So hopefully their point goes up and they get a get a big W here. They need it big time. Let's see what we get. Nice little lead by Illinois. 10-point lead. Nice. But Colts, 27-6. Went off. He went off yesterday, too. And then Bird, where are you at? Did he fall out? Only one foul. 0 for 4 shooting, no points. Wow. Five board three assists, but no points at all. That's kind of crazy. All right, let's see how they do. See you guys in about 10 minutes. Every time I have a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just reach. Charge here quickly. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks, guys. Here's what Jacques Vaughn told his team. While the team is up, Coach doesn't want his team to let up. He told the team to finish this game. Do not think this will be easy. We've seen comebacks before. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Pass to Roby. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Culver. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Culver's got 21 in the game. Here's Shepard. And here's Bird from the arc. They get it back. Right wing. Inside. Here's Diawara. It's rebounded by Houston. And for Houston. Here's Rope. To the middle. Here's Culver. The shot. No good. Great D that time from Bird. 
Passes it to Diawara. Here, Shepard. Down to five on the shot clock. And the three ball is good. He has 30. You've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. A nice shot right over. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can, but right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Here's Shepard. It's Bird, top of the key. Over to the left wing. There's the pass to Diawara. Bird outside. Fires from deep. Knocks down the three ball. Not shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Pass to Jefferson. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Shepard, the pass to Bird. Over to the wing. To the inside. Deflected by Roby. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Houston on Monday and then on Wednesday. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Now a timeout called by Houston. Houston trails by 11. He kicks to Culver. Lets it go from deep. That's down the hash. That's one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. Making a huge difference from deep tonight. That was a big-time shot. That's where the bulk of his offense has come from, and they're going to need a few more of them before this one's over. Here is Cook. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now, here's Colton. Here's Rope. Kicks it to Frazier. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Frazier. Free throw good. Frazier. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Dishes it to Bird. Ewing outside. But Trey. It's rebounded by Houston. Cobra's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Roby. Launches it. It's good from long range. Kobe's got nine points here in the second half. And this offensive explosion has narrowed the gap. Down low. Out to the right wing. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 10-2 run here. This is a good over to the inside. Elson off target at the rim. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Bird 
Pollard outside. Here's the three. Kobe with the rebound. Kobe's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. No good from Elson. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. There's the dish to Bird. Ewing picks to Cook. For three. It's hauled in by Frazier. Frazier's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Culver passes to Roby. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Substitution for the away team. Number one. Sure. To the left side wing. In the corner, it's Bird. The pass to Shep. He kicks it to Ewing. Here, Shepard. Six to shoot. First one falls for Both good from the line that time. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Now here's Culver. Defended by Bird. Culver passes to Elson. It counts. And the foul. Shepard. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. That free throw good from Elson. Gone 5 of 12 from the field, entering the fourth quarter. There's the feed to Ewing. Back to Cook. On the wing, Burke. Off with the lane. For Houston, they've gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. Ewing against Frazier. Pass to Culver. To the middle. Here's Elson. The shot goes down and gets this game back to even. And wow, what a time to tie this game up, guys. Incredible fortitude to bounce back like this. I think we're setting up for an awesome finish. Here is Cook. 151 left to play in the final quarter. To the paint. Lays it in with an inch of room around him. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. No Culver inside. Here's Elson. And Houston again with the bucket. Oh, you can see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. What I love is the heart, the fire, the tenacity. This is absolutely fantastic. Here is Cook. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. Just find the shoot. Puts it up. It's rebounded by Houston. And here's Culver. Over Cook. It drops. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in.
in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. And so Jack Vaughn calls timeout. Fifty-one seconds left in the game. Good! In tie game, that is a huge pitch to right there. Now a timeout called by Houston. Is it to Frazier? As to Colbert. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay in without fouling. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth. Here is Cook. Six on the shot clock. There's the screen. Shoots over Culver. It's in! Now a timeout called by Houston. They're trailing by two. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. That's your take, guys. I don't think they should be greedy here and think about a triple. With this much time left, I'd attack the basket, get a high percentage shot in tight, and take my chances in overtime. the inbound. Good! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. And so Jacques Vaughn calls timeout. <laughs> Ewing for three. Good from beyond the arc. As the officials want to review the shot, they initially thought he didn't get it off in time, but it was awfully tough to tell. What a moment this is, huh? <laughs> they may go from winners to losers just like that. After looking at the replay, they rule that he got the shot off in time. GA, they won it on the buzzer beater. Uh, you, Gary, you talk about winning it at the very last second. What a finish. Thankfully, the replay gets the officials off the hook on what would have been an awful call to miss. Oh, man. That was what? Six baskets in four seconds? Or six seconds? That's crazy. Good game, though. Back and forth. Buckles again went off 38 and 2. <clears throat> Three three pointers. Bird had five towards the end. That's a bad five points, six rebounds, three assists, a steal, and a block. One for five on threes. Actually, who, who hit the last pass? I missed it. It wasn't one of our guys, was it? I think it was a CPU guy. Both shot good. I mean, 43% behind the arc isn't that bad. Points to pay at the same bench points a little more by Illinois. Um, that's it, though. They played good. Houston lived by five at one time. Let me uh, check real quick. Tendencies for Hodge. Just a three-point shooting. Nine. So I don't know why you were shooting. You have nine nine uh, tendencies, so it's kind of weird. Anyways. All right, Baylor, Florida. Let me tag him real quick.
All right, here we go. Yeah, I have no idea why 2K does that. Who knows? We got two more games today this, for this morning. Baylor, Florida, and UConn and Kentucky. Last two games. Both will come off a loss. Uh, Baylor away is 0 for 2, or 0 and 2, and Gators at home are 2 2. They play better on the road. So we'll see what happens. But this scored almost 100 points a game. <clears throat> almost 20 points more than Baylor is. We'll see what happens. Baylor wants this win. Uh oh. Slowly coming back. Two point game. That's it. Gold, 14 points, two rebounds, eight assists, and two steals. Two for two behind the arc. That's good shooting for him. Jethro, 13 7. Three steals, four blocks. Wow. He'd get one more. Get five blocks in the game. Be huge. One for one behind the arc. Ace Howard, 0 for 6 for threes. What is he doing? Uh, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. I, I know in this league he's a guard, but still. 0 for 6 shooting. 3 for 11 overall. Maybe that's why they're losing. Who knows? All right. Let's see what happens. Talk to you guys in about 10 minutes. Florida timeout call. Start it. Both teams deciding to change it up. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Chauncey Billups address the team. He reminded his team just how close this game is, saying, guys, we aren't out of this yet. We still have plenty of time left. Let's go out and execute our game plan, and I promise you, we will win this game. Let's see how they come out of this timeout, Brian. Okay, thank you, Allie. Now here's DeRozan. Off target from outside. Covered by Little. Pass to primetime. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. Fast break. Here we go. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. Pass to Howard. Shot clock at five. Buries it down low. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does... The exact thing at the right moment goes straight to the rim. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Down low. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got nine rebounds now. To the paint. Boom! He jams it straight down. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team. Just fighting. Now here's DeRozan driving to the basket. That shot off. For Florida, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Inside to take the lead, and he lays it up and in. They are shooting the lights out and doing a good job of maintaining this lead. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. To the wing, right side. The 
three. They shoot again. And he takes it up and lays it in. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. For Florida, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking out, confident on offense. Start it. Substitution on the court. Pass to Sanchez. The three. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. And here is DeRozan. And down it goes. Two points. 21 points in the game. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close. He's getting the ball. Now, here is Howard. 4-3. He's off on that one. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide-open look from three-point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. DeRozan with the bucket. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. Well. Chalk up two there. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because he seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. Down low. He's able to get it back. Five on the clock. Second chance effort. That one no good. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. And the three off target. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Now here's DeRozan. Let's it go from deep. Pure yes. from three-point range. What well, a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Sanchez. This one for three. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. Now he's put on a shooting display here in the second half. He really seems to be in a great groove right now. Time out, time out. Oh, to DeRozan. Here's Wanamaker, guarded by Howard. Wanamaker passes to DeRozan. Mobley on a screen. And DeRozan gets the three. DeRozan's got five points now this quarter. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. Now, here is Howard. The D's right on him. Fires the three. They get the rebound. And he battles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. He's got 19. Just owning the offensive glass right now. Just refusing to let up. Well, we saw the same kind of attack in the last game. Ferocious effort in back-to-back -back outings. Now, here's DeRozan. Mobley on a screen. Fires from deep. The rebound by Sanchez. Sanchez has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Howard. Here he goes. Just 
Five on the clock. Gets the three ball to go. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. Here's DeRozan. Pass to Wanamaker. Back to DeRozan. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Howard. Here's Mobley. Good. And it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. DeRozan's got his ninth assist of the game now. How huge is that bucket? <laughs> when in doubt, get it to the big fella. The more that you level up in the game of basketball, it becomes about the matchups, identifying the weakest link, and then exploiting it. Here's Sanchez. Pass to Howard. Three-pointer. Drops in the three. Oh, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. DeRozan deciding where to go with it. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. the right side pass to Sanchez takes a three another basket he's now six for seven in the contest it's a race against time as they try to go on a run of their own yeah and right now the clock may be their biggest enemy back to DeRozan from deep. Howard grabs the miss. Well, Florida shooting the rock at 58%. Defended by DeRozan. Pass to Howard. Takes a 13-footer. And he goes in for the dunk. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. There's 47 seconds left in the game. Six seconds left in the final quarter. Now here's DeRozan. Shot to stop the run. And that's two points on the layup. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Pass to Howard. Clock at six. Puts up a deep three. They get the rebound. And so they get the victory here at home. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame. Good game at Florida. Gators pulled it off. Good game, though. Drill throw 21-11. Double-double. Two assists. Three steals. Five blocks. He got those five blocks. That was good. Is that one for one on threes? Nice shooting threes, too. The whole team. One for one, three for three, two for two. I'm even falling out the fourth quarter. Still had 14 points, two boards, eight assists, two steals. Although if you're in the game, you probably had 15 plus points and 10 assists. So not that bad. Go for the arc. God, he's shooting threes pretty good. Ace, double double, 12 and 10. Six assists, two. Six turnovers, though. And over six on threes. Wow. Thought we turned that down. I guess not. 
So you're, they, just, they just beat them all, all the way across the board. Bench points higher, assists higher, boards higher. Blocks, they had no, none. They had, the guys had seven, 11 dunks. They only led by one point at one time, but yeah, Gators are too tough. Chomp, chomp. They got it. Let me see what it is real quick. I'll just check real quick. Hook right there. You're 60. So you want that lower? I mean, you're your guard, though. You're a guard. You want to keep it high. I keep mix, mixing up you and AC. So you want to keep it at 60. That's fine. You just didn't shoot that good. That's all. Yeah, I, that, that's my fault. I keep thinking he's a center. That's AC. So he, he can shoot. I mean, he's got... Eight plus shooting, anyways. You just missed them today. That's all. All right, one more game left. Yep. Let me save it real quick. Will be the last game. Kentucky versus UConn. Six players playing too. I'm gonna post it on um, Discord too. Maybe get a better crowd. We'll see. Yeah, I was saying last night. I'm not sure who was here or not. We got 12 people in here right now. This is good. Um, uh, what I'll do is, instead of me doing like a week only and stop in and we'll stop on Wednesday and whatever, I'm just going to keep playing. If on Thursday we're midweek 14, then we'll stop midweek 14 on Thursday. Um, with that being said, we can get more games in that way. And instead of me, you know, like stopping at a certain date. So we'll, we'll keep doing that there then. Uh, Kentucky, UConn. Let me tag them really quick. Both these teams play twice a day. All right. Good time in AI. You did good last game. You can drop that last game. You can won the last game. Points for game are pretty close, too, so we'll see what happens. Let's get it going. Oof, you got the big 10 points. AI, Junior, look at that, man. Back to back 20 point games 21, 2, and 6, two steals. Robinson, 21 points, five rebounds, four assists. Hodge, 11, 3, 3, 2. Still shot that free throw, the 3 3 pointer, though. Try to get that. They had to sneak that one in. All right, down by 10. Let's see if you can, can uh, pull it off. See you guys in like 10 minutes. This will be the last game of the stream, too. And the Wildcats time call out. time here. And, and team it. strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game, the fans are always privy. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Kevin, during the last time out, I heard the Wildcats coach talking with his team. They were asking the team to play fast and push the ball. Coach told the players, hey, look, in this league, fast break points are the easiest. We need more of them. Can't argue with that. Kevin? Thanks, David. Here's Robinson. The Wildcats getting their last shot to go. Carries it from three-point range. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials, but Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? <laughs> Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation, but at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do, and you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. And for the Wildcats, now here is Robinson. Beyond the arc, and the Huskies hit again from deep. 
he might not have the long range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. No one near Edwards as he lets it clock. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Outside Robinson. There's a screen. Now the pass to Nichols. I get six. And finished off by Robinson. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. The Wildcats have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Pass to Edwards. It's in there. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Roski is leading by 11. Outside Robinson. And he uses the glass on the way. Robinson's got 28. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. And the Wildcats all time here. The Wildcats making a switch here. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. They set the pick. No good on the triple. And that's the battle they haven't been linked today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got a rebound. Five on the clock. Roski's need to get off a shot here. He doesn't hit that one. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Wildcats. Quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Roski's leading by 13. From past the arc, that shot is off. The Wildcats have gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. strong defense especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections wow an emphatic rejection that was boy you got to appreciate that kind of forceful in your face defense both teams deciding to change it up and so here are the Wildcats it's a 13 point game Nice open look, but it's no good. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Outside, Robinson. Passes to Nichols. From the arc. Well shot off that time. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually, he's money from deep. And it's what? And they get it back. Second chance effort, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Huskies. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep. Just dropping triple after triple. Both shots good from the strike. Roski's leading by 11. Outside Robinson. Let's the three fly. Again, the miss by the Husky. Being at 52% for the field. They're clicking. Here 
first battle, and he comes it down. You love how Eastside has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. And so it's the Huskies with it. The Wildcats getting their last shot to go. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. To the middle. They swipe it. to Robinson 18 feet out and good that time Robinson's got nine points in the quarter he's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most he's trying to close this one out to the inside good for another field goal number five in the night five for ten shooting they are just killing them on the interior yeah you can't say that with enough emphasis I mean the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low you got to play with some physicality in the paint Bucket is good. He's got 26. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Jacks up a three. And it's good. And it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. On top of the three, you're giving him the and one. Bad defense all the way around. At the line for the Wildcats. Zero. One shot. He's leading by seven. A pass to Nichols. Now, here is Robinson. And Robinson throws it down home. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that. When he wants oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Outside Robinson. It's hauled in by Edwards. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Five to shoot. Pass to Beth. Down low. Huskies with the rebound. Nichols passes to Robinson. Nine feet out. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. The Wildcats have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively. Shoot 8 of 15 for the quarter. Top of the key. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. And there's the drive. Great tee that time from Edwards. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Passes it to Ben. Kicks to Edwards. The pass to Ben. The shot. And he hits the jumper for two. Now it's just a three-point Husky lead. 116 left to play here in the fourth. against Robinson. Buries it down low. Robinson's got 34 points. Hick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensive. But three... It's good, and he has brought them to within two points. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. With the drive, yes! And the Wildcats call time here. 
They're behind by four. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 37 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's battle. Got it. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Now, here is Robinson. Over Edwards. Robinson misses. And the Wildcats call time here. They're down by two. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Is what you're taking. Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. The critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Wildcats. Trailing by two. Here's Battle. Right between the eyes. And the Huskies call time here. Guys, what do you think? And they have just enough time for a catch and shoot here. It has to be an immediate shot, though. That's their only hope. Hodge and there's the triple and a big three corner but we might have a review here well they are going to replay right now originally ruled well, they had thought they had the game already won now they've got their fingers crossed Huskies win it. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finishes. Man, I wouldn't mind as much as it happened twice this stream. It happened two times, exact same thing. Six seconds left, had the ball, score with one second left, they get back in a three with one second left. But it is what it is. I mean, it could be worse. It could be like 112 to 65 scores. That was one good thing about college is the scores are more closer and the scores are a little bit higher. So what will happen is the sliders and settings for college will be the same we have in pro. So there should be less blowouts and stuff like that. Hopefully. K. Jordan Robinson, 36-8-5. One steal. Unfortunately, he goes to the bench next week. After this game, he goes to the bench. Um, his last post was, I think, 22 days ago. He did say he was busy with work, with uh, building a house and stuff, but I need at least a chicken or something once in a while. Uh, he's not kicked from the league, but until he starts to be active, he'll be, be on the bench. AI, man, that's three straight games for you. Over 20 points. Good, good game by you. 26, 2 and 6, two steals. Four for six shooting threes. Hodge, one for two is all that matters. That one three pointer. 14 points. You only had 11 points going to that, that last shot. That's crazy. Battle 27, 6 and 7. Three went all the way across the board, man. Three three pointers, 11 for 17 shooting. He had a, he had a game. Joyce, 18, 6 and 7. Another good game by him, too, but four turnovers that could hurt him. 8 for 11 shooting, good shooting for him. And Gaga, 16 points, 5 boards, 8 assists, a block, too, for the guard. But look at that, your top four guys, 12 turnovers right there. That probably was why. Let's see here, uh, points in the paint, they both killed it inside. Assists the same, bench points about the same. Just a three-point at the end, they got him better. Good game. Good stream, too. We have some decent numbers tonight.
All right. So let me see real quick. Memphis. Okay, Chambers is on the team because they State doesn't have anyone on that team. Uh, but I think Chambers took it earlier today too. So that's uh, the eighth. We go to the twenty-first. So tonight would be one, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually do seven games a night. Um, that'll be played. Those will be played. Those will be played. LSU now. Yep, Arkansas. So yeah. So we could play seven games a night, and on Monday, wrap up week 13 completely. And then Tuesday would start, so Tuesday, we have six streams left to do week 14. So we should do that too. So yeah, if I could do six, seven games a night, we'd be able to do two weeks in game for one week in real life. So <clears throat> it, it doesn't really show your draft stock where it's going, but let me look at you real quick. You are you right there, UConn. So um, you're 78 overall. Most likely, I mean, it will happen. Um, they'll drop probably three to four overall. That makes you a 75, if not 74 overall. Um, every starter in the NBA will be 75 or higher um, with two to three 80-plus guys on each starting lineup. So you might not even start. Um, we'll try to draft guys on teams of need. Not really based on skill. I know that sounds stupid, but just because you're, let's say, for example, Hodge is a 91 overall, let's say he drops an 86. Um, and the first team, let's say for the first big team is Seattle. And they have an 85 guard, an 83, both 83, 85 guards, and a small forward 80. He wouldn't go there. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense. So I'll put him on a team in need. Or the other option could be um, if, let's say, Iverson wants to go pro, as a number one pick, let's just say he's a, he's a top pick in the, in the draft. Let's say he's a uh, 78 overall. The first team pick of the overall is to say Seattle again. And they have an 85 shooting guard. I would just kick out the 85 shooting guard, draft Iverson, and make the small four to 85. So they'll still have an 85 on the team, but just switch it up. I might do that as well, too. It might be easier that way. So, but anyways, uh, what do I want to see? Your All your overall games. There we go. So yeah, 26, 19, 22, 12, low game there, but 17, 16, not bad. Not bad at all. And you got six win or five wins in the last six games, which is huge too. So Darius for 86 plus. Let me see what it would take real quick. So for him to be 86 plus, you're looking at at least a, a year, an another, another year. So you have to play season two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because even if he does go up two points uh, by the time the season's over, which you could because if you get your Patreon points, you can spend all on him. Like I said, I didn't upgrade you guys yet. I'll probably upgrade them today. I'll upgrade all the player attributes they had for there. I'll put those in there as well. Um, I, I usually wait. I know some guys ask, will it go on before I play tonight? That kind of stuff. I don't usually do it if it's just one guy wants his upgrades. I wait till we get three or four guys to do it, so I do it all at once. Instead of me going on every single day and upgrading every single time. Back in the day, I only did upgrade once a week. You guys have all, all week to put it in. Saturday is the deadline by Sunday stream. I have them all updated, but I just did it. That was too hard for people. So but let's go to overalls right now, see what we got. Um, it's your guys' call. Um, if we draft AI players as well, I'll put that obviously up for a uh, a vote closer to draft time. Like for example, would um, who do we have her? Boomer Eli. Do we want him going pro to a team? We could, which is fine. <clears throat> they could draft him, or do we do um, users only? Either way, users are drafted first. Um, or do we? Can, the good thing about basketball is there's only two rounds. It's not football where there's seven rounds and you know 500 picks. So we would probably have, I'd say, anyway, between 10 and 15 users going pro. Do we even bother drafting AI guys or keep the NBA players ahead in there? I'm, I'm not sure yet um, because we'll have one more season, if not two, of these same players staying on the team, the, the uh, CPU guys. They're going to stay. But anyways, um, Hodge, he'll go pro. Gold will go pro. Jeff will probably go pro. Ace Howard, he'll go pro. Um, both Hodges could go pro. I mean, it's... It'd be the brothers and it'd be the first time in history, two brothers. Oh, actually, no, Bam, Bam did last year. We got what's his name for the Pistons. Those twins went. Did, did they go back to back? Like five and six, something like that? For Bama. <clears throat> they went pros, brothers. Chambers. Um big drop to the next user. 
Wow, who is that? Thanks, Joyce. So that might be hard to do. We might only have, you know, seven, eight guys going pro. That's six right there. That's it. So, they, like I said, you guys can go pro if you want. But if you're not ranked over 80, that's going to be kind of crazy because um, the Rock. Actually, I'll show you the guys, Rush. I'll show you right now what I'm doing. I'll show you. Let me save it real quick. So, I told you guys, I set the season up for the NBA season two. Um, did the rosters, finished everything, and then we talked about it. And this, I wanted to do this. I had to start over because I wanted to have 82 games instead of just 12 games. It wasn't as fun, it wasn't as realistic. The uh, points per game weren't realistic. You know, the the, the, stat, the stats weren't realistic. So we are going to play a full 82-game season. Obviously, more fast sim games, full sim games. I'm not going to, you know, show more full games just because we have more games overall. <clears throat> so we're saved here. This is what I'm working on now. It shouldn't reset because I'm, I'm in the same game. So <clears throat> what I'm doing... Offline, or off the file... I'm uh, doing my roster here. This is what I have so far. So I've done the first. I've done Philly, Chicago, Boston, Atlanta, Miami, and the Knicks are next. So I went through. I give, Like I said, every team I give an 81 or 80 or higher. So, for example, Philly has a, all these guys are made by me, created by me, names, how they look, everything. Um, tendencies for these NBA players for shooting and for touches Break between 55 and 65, which is what we had anyways now for college and pro. Um, so I have, like I said, Philly is done. We're not using the Bucks. We're using the Bulls. That's a new guy too here. So all these guys are just, like I said, guys I made up. They're all in the game. Um, Cleveland's not in the game. Boston is in the game. So I got to make him another 80 overall. I'll try to get three 80 plus overall guys per team. Um, Ellie's out of the game. Memphis, no. Atlanta is. I made them up to their finish, too. It's like a couple guys here. So what, what, what I do, really, is I go through here, and I just finished Miami this morning. Uh, Charlotte was taken up for the Knicks. So they're right here, right? Yeah, right there. So I'll do them first. So what, what I do is I go by position. I give each one three to four position per, per team. And once that's all set up, I go through. I put the first guy. Uh, I'll change the name up a little bit, uh, change the look a little bit, give some tattoos, give some attribute, I mean, some accessories, stuff like that. And then once that's done, I go to the next guy. I, I do that per team. We're going to have 16 teams, like I said. Really quick, if you didn't know, Philly, Chicago, Boston, Atlanta, Miami, New York, Knicks, Pacers, and the Pistons. That's the East. On the West, we're going to have Lakers, Mavericks, Pelicans, Seattle Supersonics, Portland Trailblazers, Houston Rockets, Phoenix Suns, and OKC Thunder. That'll be the West. That's where we're going to go. So, um, I plan on doing, like I said, for sure, next season of both. Season two for both will be on 24. I might actually do season three on 24 as well, because by that time, it'll probably be January, February of 25. Um, that means NBA 2K25 will be like $19. It'll be much cheaper. And we'll still get three seasons in that game, too. Or, like I plan to do originally, if 25 isn't a huge step up from 24, we could say on 24. The 24 online server, or the 2K server stay online for, I think it was three years. That server will be on. So 2020 servers are now down. You can still play 21 to 24. This upcoming September, 21 goes down. So you can play the game online as long as you want. Um, we don't really need to worry about online play for us. I just can't upload anything. You can't change names. You can't upload DNA. You can't change logos. Nothing when that shuts down. But you get a full three, three years of that. So we could play 24, honestly, until 2026. We could have full seasons down there. If the gameplay doesn't change, if the graphics don't change, if, you know, something else doesn't change. We, 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 uh, I have the problem staying on, on, on 24 itself. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have to go to 25 just because it's out. So, well, yeah, that's, that's just what I figured. Three years and goes on finally in, in, in December. So as of right now, we're good here. Um, I'm going to stay on 24 as long as I can. Because it's, it is, as you, you guys know, I've said it before, and it's, who's ever run a league themselves, it's a lot of work creating all the teams, all the players. Nothing carries over from game to game. So, But anyways, what I'll do is I'm going to work on the uh, uh, graphic for tonight's game right now when I get off, and I'll post that in a little bit, and we'll know what games are tonight. Um, we will figure out and finish out week 13 for NCAA, and that means, let me just double-check real quick. <clears throat> 
So we're week 13 now, and we're going to finish week 14 this week. So starting next week will be May what? Like May 13th, something like that, whatever the case is. So this will be – actually, let me, let me get my calendar really quick so I can see in front of me too. All right. So the week of May 13th, so next week is May 13th to the 17th. So that'll be these two weeks. Then we have the 20th through the 24th, these two weeks. The last week of May, these two weeks. First week of June, these weeks. Second week of June, those weeks. Mid-June, that. And June 17th to 21st, oh, that's it. We play off. So June 17th until 4th of July weekend, which I wanted to wrap it up by then. Um, the week will be done. So hopefully we can finish up the last week of June. And that'll be season one of NCAA will be done. Um, and with that, I think I go on my trip. Um, usually it's the 12th through the 19th, I believe. So obviously I won't stream on Thursday, the 4th of July. But that week prior, I can. And that could be the uh, tournament. We'll finish it up. So both seasons will start up probably the last week of July. We'll start season two up so but yeah anyways that's it there that's on my end just so you guys know what's going on always guys give you guys heads up a lot of guys ask when can i go pro how do i make a player up when the playoffs can i go next season can i go all that kind of stuff so that's how it is there um and that's it i'm gonna work on the graphic like i said i'm gonna get that going on discord to post that and um, i will see you guys later tonight for the stream and as always i appreciate you guys coming out showing support thanks a lot man i'll see you guys later on